lesson two of the atmosphere is titled the layers of the atmosphere um, here we're going to talk about what you're going to be responsible for is knowing all the different layers uh, in their order and you're going to have to know at least a couple uh, things of uh, factors or uh, characteristics of each one uh, before we uh, before we're done so we're going to watch this animation here uh, hopefully um, of the of the layers of the atmosphere um, and then we're going to get into some more of the details but here's that first layer uh, of our atmosphere called the troposphere or the troposphere uh, it consists of from the ground level where we're at to just above the the, the highest mountains on our planet uh, but as you move out you see the next layer which is called the stratosphere this is where airplanes fly and then we have another layer called the mesosphere this is our middle layer it's also our coldest layer um, when we get to the next layer, you'll notice the size of this layer. It's called the thermosphere. Comparative to the other ones, the troposphere is about half the size of the stratosphere. The stratosphere is about half the size of the mesosphere. And the thermosphere is probably 10 times as thick as the mesosphere. Uh, and then once we get to the thermosphere, we get out to the farthest one out, which is the exosphere. And here are some of the numbers. Uh, these are miles high. So the troposphere tops out at about nine miles up or so. The stratosphere will top off at about 31 miles up. And the mesosphere will top off at about 53 miles up. Now the thermosphere runs from 53 miles up to 310 miles up. And then the exosphere, well, this is the one that just kind of goes off into space and it just disappears. Uh, there really is no thickness to that. But as you move up, you can see this little statement right here. The number of molecules decrease as we go up higher and higher. Uh, jets fly in the stratosphere. Um, the uh, space shuttle, when it flew, flew in the thermosphere. We have satellites that run in the thermosphere and in the exosphere. Um, so that's an interesting, uh, as far as interesting uh, graphic here for you to see. But now, we get into some more of the details that you're going to have to come up with. Uh, one, you're going to have to be able to look at a picture like this and label the lowest layer being the troposphere, stratosphere, and mesosphere. And then you can see the thermosphere being a little bit thicker and the exosphere going off. So in your book, if you go online, you can look at your book on page 517 and you can see all the different layers and learn more information about them. Um, you will eventually, on an assignment, have to name the layers here and write at least two characteristics of each one here. So hopefully you're taking good notes coming up and uh, you, you're going to have a good set of notes to use from. So the exosphere, that's our top layer, it's the outermost layer. Exo means outside. Uh, here molecules aren't held in anymore by the Earth's gravitational pull. They're so far away from the Earth that they actually float out into space. Hydrogen and helium are two lightest gases. Well these guys are most common because they're so light they float away. Uh, we put satellites in, in orbit here in the exosphere. Uh, the next layer down, which is our um, probably one of the most important layers, well, one of the, they're all important, without them we'll be dead, uh, but thermosphere, uh, the thermosphere is incredibly hot. Uh, it's one of the first layers that actually absorbs the sun's energy. It's, the sun hits us with huge amounts of energy and uh, the thermosphere, which means thermal, meaning heat, uh, will absorb that energy. It can reach temperatures of 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, that's hot enough to melt uh, most of our metals. Um, we really have to be able to protect anything that we send out into space because it has to get through this uh, layer. And with that heat, uh, we are really um, have to protect our... Uh, stuff that we send into space. The International Space Station. Uh, this floats in this area, but it's a little bit lower in the in this thermosphere. It's closer towards the mesosphere, and um, the temperatures aren't as hot. Uh, we don't send uh, a lot of stuff out uh, of our atmosphere, uh, and so the thermosphere, super hot layer. Uh, the mesosphere, meso is Greek for middle, it's our coldest layer. So if you're having to come up with two things about the mesosphere, one, it's our middle layer, and two, uh, the mesosphere is our coldest layer. And then we come to our troposphere. 
Uh, the troposphere is our coldest, or excuse me, our closest layer. Uh, it's the one that we exist in. It's our very active layer. Uh, things are always moving. Wind is moving storms, and wind are moving clouds, and wind is moving air. Uh, tropo is actually comes from the Greek word for turning, or change, or curve, or bend. Uh, this constant change in activity causes weather. Uh, and weather occurs in the troposphere. It doesn't happen in any other of the layers. Well, clouds exist, not exit, uh, exist in places from the bottom of the, to the top of the troposphere. Sometimes clouds will reach up into the one layer that we did skip. Um, I just noticed that right now. Uh, it's probably on the next page. Uh, we have our mesosphere, but then we don't get to the troposphere. We skip the layer, and then we get to the troposphere. So it must be the stratosphere. Uh, so the stratosphere is the layer where, uh, if you've been in an airplane, you've probably been in the stratosphere. The jet stream, which is a basically just a fast-moving river of wind, uh, way up about seven, eight miles up, uh, five to seven miles up, eight miles up, um, or higher, is moving around our planet. Uh, and the stratosphere includes our ozone layer. Well, the ozone layer is the thing that protects us from the harmful rays of the sun. Um, Sometimes clouds can get up that high in March. Thunderstorms can get that high, uh, but um, not all the time. So when we think about the layers of the atmosphere, um, one thing I want to really make sure we get this straight is we have, down closest to the Earth, we have our troposphere. Above the troposphere, we have the stratosphere. Uh, then we have the mesosphere. Then we have the thermosphere, and then we have the exosphere. Uh, make sure we get that order. Even though the the, the sheets here, the pages here say uh, thermos or exosphere, thermosphere, mesosphere, and then troposphere, uh, I want really to point out this was just a, an error in, in page. Uh, it's the mesosphere, stratosphere, and then the troposphere. Um, so, other than that, I think that's about it. Um, Make sure you've taken really good notes. Uh, be ready for a class discussion, and uh, we'll have some work to do once you get into class.